My sister experienced her first anaphylactic reaction at a football game when she was nine years old. Seeing her, her swollen face, I mean, her eyes were swollen shut. Her throat had started to swell. Her lips were turning blue. The terror that goes through your body is something that you can't describe and it's something that I don't want any other family to ever have to experience um, just because of what we went through. I, I, you know, I do what I do for my sister, but I also do it so that another family doesn't have to live what we've lived. Every day I take the attitude to work that it's my job, that if this were to end up in my sister's food product, or if this were to end up on my sister's plate, that I wanna make sure that she's protected, that that label is as accurate as possible to make sure if she picked that label up and read it, that she would know, hey, I can't eat that product, it'll make me sick, I'll have a reaction. And so that's my attitude and that's my influence every day when I go to my job. And that influences me to do my very best. I work closely with food labeling as well as compliance with USDA and FDA food laws and also with identity preserved materials such as kosher and organic. My job can be very stressful because there's a lot of responsibility in what I do and I take great pride in what I do. So it's important for me to be able to have a release in some way and for me that release is horseback riding. There's a quote that says the outside of the horse is good for the inside of the man. And there's something about being around horses, their spirit, their nature. It's almost a quality that's impossible to explain unless you've experienced it. There's something about a horse and knowing that they're a thousand pound creature that could easily harm you in any way if they wanted to, but they're so docile that they don't. It's freeing in every way possible to be around them and to ride them. Emotionally, physically, mentally, it takes away every single fear, stress in the world to be around a horse and it's incredible. It, it's so hard for me to explain and put into words. Competing with a horse is like ballroom dancing. So I'm an athlete but I also have to work with a thousand pound athlete that's under me and there's, it's a delicate balance of communication that goes back and forth. So you really have to focus and meditate and control what you're feeling and your emotions to be able to communicate with your horse effectively and achieve the intended outcome in a competition. And that actually really serves me really well in my job role. Having a background in horseback riding really helped to set me up for a career in agriculture. Thank you.